Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Sam. Let's do a little lesson today on power chords. So I'm sure most of you are probably very familiar with the type of power chord that is that nice little shape that we can move around. <laughs> But perhaps less of you are familiar with the power chords which are more closely related to our open chords. So before we go too far into that, let's talk about the need for power chords. So even when the guitar is really well intonated, it's still not completely in tune. It's part of the nature of the electric guitar and it's part of the charm as well to be honest. Uh, but when I'm using distortion, and I play an open chord like this C, some of those notes are disagreeing with each other because they're not quite in tune. And just as a disclaimer, this is something that you learn to deal with as a guitar player, and you can kind of muscle them in tune. Uh, but let's not go too far into that. Uh, sometimes we just want to play simpler chords. So... Let's have a look at the makeup of that C chord. So I've got the root, I've got the major third, I've got the fifth, I've got the root, and the major third. Now it's the major third which is fighting more than the others. So that's what we're kicking out to make a power chord. A power chord is always just the root and the fifth. Okay. So for me to eradicate those notes, I'm just going to block out the D string, I'm going to block out the E string, and then you get this. Now let me play that back to back with the open chord, so we can check out that fighting thing I was talking about. So uh, here's just a C regular chord with the major third. Now here's without. With, without. So it's much more focused without, and that is the type of chord you would use for ACDC songs. Like that C there, you'd find that in. In You Shook Me. Uh, so there's our C power chord. Let's work our way through a few other ones. So in that example, we also have a G. Okay, here's a regular G chord. That's where the major third is. I've got root, major third, uh, fifth, root, fifth, root. So just getting rid of that guy makes it way more focused. With. Without. With. Okay, so there's G. Also with D, so here's D regular. This guy here is the major third. Uh, so without. I'm just muting that with my middle finger. Okay. Uh, what other songs could we do? Highway to Hell, that's in the key of A. Uh, the composition of our open A chord, we've got root, fifth, root, third, and fifth. So I'm actually going to lose both of these top ones because otherwise the gap between this note and this is too large and it doesn't work. So both of those ones are being lost. Okay, so regular uh, open chord. Power chord. So do E. Uh, e is quite a good one actually. We can actually muscle out the major third, which is on the G string. So uh, 
without that. And here it is with and without. You can also do big Paul Gilbert versions of those. Uh, if I did this, I've now got root fifth root fifth fifth root. So that's a really cool way of playing a big E power chord. And we can also do that with A actually. If I, if I do that with A, you get that. I've got root fifth root fifth root. Okay. So those are the kind of chords you want to be using when you're playing ACDC tunes and countless other classic rock tunes. They're more focused, they sound better, uh, yeah, more in tune. Uh, okay, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe for more. I post every week and I'll see you real soon. Cheers guys.